What's happening ladies and gents, Frankie here. Hope you're having a sublime day. I've decided to embrace the at-home investor look and I'm now refusing to get dressed. So in all future videos, I will remain in this uh, sweaty, uh, half-ripped robe that I owned for the last 12 years. Uh, one day I may even sell them, you know, so if you want to buy a robe, if you want to buy this one, this is limited edition. But if you want to buy a future one, I'm thinking red and fully cotton. Let's get past the robes. We're going to be talking about Ideonomics, uh, ticker symbol IDEX. Uh, and pretty much before we go into all of that, uh, I just need to say this is the place of discussion and this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not take my advice without doing your own due diligence, okay? Because I'm fully aware I could lose money. I'm fully aware I can make money, but that's up to you to make that decision. If you enjoy this video at any point, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you want a robe, Type down in the comment section, robe, and I will look into getting some red cotton robes. Anyway, let's get into the video. So Ideonomics is a global company that facilitates the adoption of the commercial electric vehicle and supports next generational financial and fintech products. So Ideonomics is kind of split down the middle. They have one side which works on electric vehicles. Uh, it's called the mobility division. And then they also have like another half which works on sort of the financial side of things. It's called their capital division. Uh, and it just goes over. So there's, it's really weird. They've got so many sort of different avenues and they're kind of, think of them as a middleman as they're paying for other businesses that be they believe in the future are going to do well and you know taking a stake in that company and then obviously if that company does well they then get money for it and they've worked out agreements to get different money for different things so yeah think of them as the middleman funding operations I fund things like schemes and pranks and such you got anything interested and also they do have their own sort of uh, vehicles as well that they're putting to market but most of all they're funding uh, they're funding businesses they like the look of pretty much so they have an electric vehicle division it's called the mobile energy global so their meg it provides group purchasing discounts on commercial electric vehicles ev batteries and electricity as well as financing and charging solutions uh, we refer to this business model as sales to financing to charging ideonomics capital provides intelligent and innovative services for their fintech industry together meg and ideonomics capital provide our global customers and partners with more efficient solutions so meg it's like a service provider that works with large scale commercial fleet customers uh, vehicle procurement financing of those vehicles and access to charging systems to run those vehicles so they've been in china for a while so they're going to take that statistics and knowledge and hopefully uh, expand that across america and europe so they've also got medici motor works so it's active in china currently and plans to expand to korea and north america in the near future the company is focused on serving the varied needs of commercial fleet operators. Bev trucks, for instance, are better for short hauls and closed circuit operations, whereas the hydrogen trucks are well suited for long distance hauling, the company has said, attempting to release some in Q1 this year. So that's actually a positive. So they're already looking to release in 2021 Q1, um, which is very soon. And if they can actually do that and start making uh, money and income, uh, very good, very good start for the company. If they fall through on that, starts to raise questions they also have tree electric they have a 51 percent stake in the two-wheeled brand in southeast asia it's used for like deliveries and taxis and so on and also they plan to grow trees which is a very interesting concept so on its own grow trees it sounds ridiculous but essentially when someone buys a vehicle of the tree electric they in turn will then grow a tree uh, i don't know where they said they'd do that but they said they're going to grow a tree in the places that need it the most uh, to you know give back to the environment and make the world a better place which is a cool concept again is it some sort of marketing stint where they're hoping that they can like lead you to buy one of those vehicles to help the world so you'll do it a good thing it's probably a bit of both they probably actually really want to do it for the actual you know the goodness of mother earth but they're probably doing it as a marketing incentive as well so they also have Soul Electric, acquired 15% of the agriculture brand focusing on tractors. Uh, the opportunity to play in that space as well. According to the research and market, the global agricultural tractor market is currently valued at 75 billion and poised for rapid growth. They finally have Wave, an inductive wireless charging, 7 million in revenue during 2020 with a robust 2020 pipeline going to be offered and integrated into Medici Motorworks. So they're sort of setting up their mobility uh, division to hopefully reach each part of the business and link these businesses together to in turn hopefully make more money. So by banding together, making more money together. 
But going on to their capital-based investments, they have Timios has signed a definitive stock purchase agreement to acquire 100% of privately held Timios Holdings Corp. It's a real estate business, which just comes out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it have gone from electric vehicles to real estate. Uh, and it's a vibrant housing market due to people working remotely and the Fed keeping interest rates lower to keep economy alive. Uh, Three million in December alone made. So again, I can see that they can they can essentially see that this company is going to have future growth. Therefore, they're going to buy 100% of Timios, and they have. Um, comes out of left field so you've got this electric vehicle division and then also all of a sudden you've got timios which is a bloody real estate business it just comes out of nowhere and again if they're strictly going from a funding perspective they're funding these companies or they're buying these companies out and keeping keeping everyone in charge who was originally in charge it could work because you know at least these people still know the business they're not like they're not having their own men come in and you know, I'm a, I'm a car guy and all of a sudden I'm running this real estate business. As long as they're keeping everyone in charge, which I believe they're doing, probably shouldn't hurt too much because they've still got the, the experience and the knowledge of the people who are there anyway. They're just funding these things and essentially being the middleman. They've also got DBOT and they've acquired 98.4%. And it's just like a broker uh, dealer operating in an alternative trading system. And for equities not listed in the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. They've also got Liquify, a minority investment, and it's kind of made in the same vein as Depot and hopefully uh, going to be released in Hong Kong. They've got Technology Metals as well, coming to market, a platform to make markets for trading of metals, similar to copper and iron and so on. And finally, they have Intelligenta, AI-based, playing a role in the EV sector, taking data from charging systems and then selling the data. So obviously, their charging systems with Wave especially, they've got an AI in there, seeing what's going on, and then selling this information to other companies, you know, to make people's lives easier, pretty much. Which is an interesting concept. That makes sense, because that links back to the whole EV side of things. Um, I'm not saying you know none of the other things make sense it's just very random it is very random um but if it makes you money who gives a shit right so as long as they've got the players in the game that can make it happen you know money's money at the end of the day so i watched the investor presentation by them and uh alf moore or alf poor whatever his name is i can't remember um he's, he just reminded me of trevor milton like this very sort of you know i'm the top top guy and all that i'm amazing uh, i donate to charities and so should my workers you know we'll hire you we're the best place to work and so on we're the only company i see and like a list of five that do this this and, this. and it's very obviously you're not going to shit on your own company because what's the point of that you want to hype people up you want to hype investors up but like the last thing he says in the presentation is like thank you to my 150,000 investors um or to my 150,000 investors, thank you, we love you. Um, and it's, I don't know, there's just something about him where it's like this, these little brags and so on. And again, I don't really care. Uh, I've actually invested in them. I've been invested in them for a few months now. Um, and I am probably going to invest more because I do like the general scope of what they're going for. And at the end of the day, money is money. If these real estate businesses and these AIs and, you know, these brokers and all that make money the agricultural sector the tree electric if it all makes money who gives a shit it's positive and i hopefully they can like they can see if there's uh, any they do want to hire and buy out more businesses so again if they can manage that and do that and stick to their their word of that there's no reason why this can't be a good a good financial position in a few years time in a year's time especially with 2021 coming up and they're, they're saying they're going to make a load of sales in 2021 and get things rolling in 2021 again if you can do that there's no reason why this stock price shouldn't go up so i will be invested more into them i currently only have like 150 shares or something i might bump that up depending on how the stock market opens on tuesday because uh, i don't really want it to go up much more i'd rather buy on a little dip or the current price i think it's like 320 at the moment uh, but yeah, that's iDynamics in a nutshell. A very interesting company. Um, if, you, if you've got some thoughts on it, please let me know. Hit me in the comment section below. Let me know if you've got any shares, what you think of the company, if you like the leader in charge and so on. If you're bearish, bullish, let me know. Very interested to find out what you've got to say. Anyway, me and my gown are going to take a bow and we're going to go. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.